Hey everyone, welcome to my video. Before starting our video, I want to wish a happy science day to all of you. Today, we will discuss about this great day, why it was celebrated, why 28th is we dedicated our day for science. Without wasting our time, let's get started. Point number one, why it is celebrated. Actually, this day is celebrated for the great contribution of an Indian physicist, Mr. C. V. Raman, in the field of science. But also, it motivates to spread the message of importance of science and its application among the people. Now, some curious ones of you will ask, what was the contribution of C. V. Raman and why this particular number 28th is special? Is it the birthday of C. V. Raman? No, no. Actually, in 1928, this great physicist invented the Raman effect. Now, what is this Raman effect? Let's understand. If we take an object or a medium and pass a monochromatic light like laser or electromagnetic light through it, when this incident ray hits the surface, the ray scatters in two different directions. Now, after the ray gets scattered, some rays have same to same wavelength as well as frequency compared to the original, but some wavelength and high frequency, but some have more wavelength and less frequency. So, the one who has high wavelength and less frequency is called the Stokes line, and the one who has high frequency but small wavelength is called the anti Stokes line. And to observe the change of wavelength and frequency compared to the original ray or the incident ray is known as the Raman effect. And for this great invention done by C. V. Raman, C. V. Raman got the Nobel Prize in 1930. And one of the uses of this great invention of Raman effect is the formation of rainbow. I guess that's it for today. And if you want to see the video of the formation of rainbow you can check it out our description below you can get the link so till now thanks for watching and bye bye